Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. It's going to be a really fun tutorial because you're going to learn how to add some very cool elements to your design. Uh, it's as simple to add but looks very fun. It looks like, you know, I don't know how much effort has been put into making something like that. Having said that, look at this very simple design right here. It's literally just a blue background with some text on top of it. Now, if you want to make this something that stands out and grabs attention, here's how you can do that. And that too in less than five minutes. So what I'm going to do here is let's just go to um, Dreamer dot supply. And in here, you'll find a bunch of uh, things which you can use. I am going to go to uh, the particles element for this tutorial. Let's just go to this side so you can see there's this uh starry sort of a view here it's called galaxy there's lines you know these lines get connected emojis and you can you know just click and drag multiple things a pikachu gradients a lot of things so i'm going to pick up these elements here i'm going to copy this component and what I'm going to do is, I am going to elevate this simple looking screen here by adding some gradients in the background. And not just gradients, I'm going to add some moving gradients. So, um, we're just going to, in this tutorial, we'll explore a bunch of things we can do with by just using these particles really. Let's just get started with one to begin with. So, I'm going to uh, paste this by just pressing Command V. And I have this thing here and let's just uh, enter back and I'm going to make it cover the entire screen. I'm going to ensure it's pinned on all sides and the position is set to absolute. So this looks good now. What I'm going to do here is we don't need the background. So I'm going to reduce that uh, the opacity to zero. So once that is done, we'll have something like this. Now let's go to the particles and we'll see a bunch of options available here. Now this is where we can start doing the magic really. So um, if you go to colors here, you can add a bunch of colors. For example, in this one particularly, let's just add a shade of orange. Okay, you can probably see like really small particles here. I am going to change the size in a bit, but uh, let's just change the colors. Let's just add orange. And I'm going to add another color here, something like maybe yellow. Let's just add these two colors to begin with. And I'm going to uh, change the amount. Let's just let that be. Let's just make the size bigger to we'll see. Let's just make it 10. So. You now you can see it's um uh, it wasn't really visible earlier so let's just make it we can give it an absolute value or we can also change it and make it a range for example from maybe 100 to 200 it covers the entire screen right well let's just explore let's just experiment and see this really like this entire section here can do magic to your entire screen I'm just going to close that. Next, I'm going to let the opacity be this. You can also change the opacity. Maybe we can set a range from 0 to 1. Play around with it, but for now I'm going to let it be. I'm going to explore that in the later sections. And let's just go to move here. So I want it to be, uh, the direction of moving should be random. I want it to be random, yes. I don't want it to be straight, so no. I don't want it to vi uh, vibrate or gravity shouldn't be there. Let's just say I want it to leave behind a trail when it moves. We can also add a spinning effect. And I don't want it to attract. Well, you can definitely switch on and off these properties to see how it works, really. In your case, you can change the shape to circle, square, triangle, whatever you like, really. Let's just go with triangle here. Now... There's another option where it says hover. So I don't want it uh, to move when I hover, but I want it to move normally. So I'm just going to do it. No, I don't want it to hover. And I can change the rotation to random. So this is okay. And you know, like a bunch of other properties as well. But when you see this, 
let's just play now. You can see how it sort of keeps moving and it looks pretty cool, right? So let's just make it even better. Now, what if I want to sort of add like a gradient blur to it or something like that? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this, add a frame here. Now, I want to add the blur effect in here, but that isn't possible currently because it's not available. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add it inside of frame and in the frame, I'm going to add the blur properties. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to style, add filters and I'll say uh, blur. So how much blur do I want? Be careful with this because the more amount of blur you add, it's going to affect the impact of your, like the performance of your website. So you have to be really careful if your website takes too long to load, then you know what's going wrong here. So <clears throat> you add the blur and you can see how it looks now. You know how the gradients are moving. It looks pretty cool, isn't it? So we can <clears throat> do a lot with that. We can also add some blending modes in here, something uh, similar to this it to lighten you can just play around with it for example if you do lighten it will look something like this and uh, you can also do hard light all of this looks really cool i mean it's so simple and so super fast to implement and it looks so nice so this is like a oh, this is just a playground you can just do anything and everything here so this was just one of the ideas let's just go back to let's just do uh another style here so I made a widget in here, right? This is a widget. Let's just make this widget more interesting. How we can do that is, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my component here. I'm going to copy the component and I'm going to paste it inside this frame. So since there's a stack and everything here, let's just uh, select this stack and I'm going to put it below. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to make sure it's sort of fits in. I'm going to get rid of the background color and I'm going to place it right inside the box again. So yeah, uh, now if I go to layers, I have this particles element right in here. So um, again, I can add some really cool colors. So and this time I'm going to add more amount of colors. Um, I have a few hex codes in mind, so I'm going to add that. So let's just go to hex and change this to the right numbers in here to get all the colors that we want. So these are some nice number of colors that I've added here. Next, I'm going to let the FPS be 60. I can change the amount to maybe, I don't know, maybe 50. And I'm going to let the density be as it is. And let's just change the size. And I'm going to make it range from 1 to 20 or maybe 15 just to add that playfulness here. And let's change the opacity 0 to 1. And change the movement to random direction out we can just make it we can add a list of things like bounce horizontal bounce vertical i just want it to bounce we can make it trail spin yes and i want it to attract no okay just randomly changing these properties change the shape to circle i want it to sort of those let's just keep the hover effect enabled here to show you how it works really so now when i do this You'll see the moment I hover, the particles are moving, but I don't want that. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to select the particles again, and I'm going to disable the hover, hover thingy here. It's time to play and see. So you know how this simple widget looks pretty interesting with little balls floating in the backdrop. You know, you can keep playing with these properties right here. Try out different variations and combinations. And in my case, I landed up with something very crazy. And I'll show you in a minute. So when you play it, I just added, turned on the trail effect. And this is what I got. It looks like, gives like a firework sort of a feeling. But yeah, um, 
the idea is that the possibilities are truly endless. I particularly like this one more where the balls are falling from the sky and it looks pretty cool to me. Uh, it gives like a snowfall effect. You can do this to bring attention to a particular section. For example, in this case, I added some moving gradients. And if you think that is a little too much, you can just highlight the CTA by just adding these balls in the background maybe. It very subtly brings the attention. I hope you learned something new today and you had something to take away from this entire video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.